Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing here on my channel to create a drone right from the scratch for the aerial photography. In this video guys, I am going to tell you how to install this AKK Race Ranger video transmitter onto your drone frame. In this video guys, I will also give you a brief description about this AKK Race Ranger video transmitter. If you want to see a detailed review of this AKK Race Ranger, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. Towards the end of the video guys, I will also be giving you a brief introduction on how to connect this video transmitter to the flight controller along with the DVR connection. So guys if you are new to assembling drone ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, before we start with the installation of this video transmitter onto my drone frame, let me walk you through my plan on how I am planning to place my video transmitter and what is the reasons behind it. So as you know guys, my uh, flight controller for this drone is Metexas F765 WSE. This flight controller already comes with its power distribution board and its flight controller. It is already a stack guys, so I did not have a space on my flight controller to install it on the top because of the height restrictions also guys in my previous videos you would have seen i am placing all my stack here on the back side of my drone frame where i have installed the mcu here on the top guys i have four screw heads which is coming out here i can place very conveniently my video transmitter like this on the stack on top of this motor control unit before we can install this video transmitter on motor control unit i have already put a transparent dst onto the top because of the heat sink which is coming out of this video transmitter which is very huge you can see from the side which might get in touch with this mcus or esc might cause some short circuits which is why i have placed a transparent dst onto the top so as to have some kind of insulation also guys i have put an electrical tape on to the top of the wiring connection which is coming directly from the input power supply of the battery so as to prevent it from short circuit or accidental touches to this metal uh, heat sink which is coming out of this video transmitter so as to prevent any short circuit or damage to my drone having this considered guys i have decided to place this video transmitter right here on to the top here on the video transmitter guys you can see it is all well built it is covered with uh, metal onto the top so as to prevent it uh, from any interferences which is generated by my microcontroller or my ESC or my motor control unit which is also something really nice onto the bottom side it has an heat sink so as to keep my video transmitter cool here you can see you have an antenna holder here onto the top it comes with an antenna extender which I'm going to place it onto the back side of this drone frame and install the antenna and here you can see that there is a jumper connection this is a six pin micro GST which has two input pin for voltage which is going to be powered from my microcontroller itself and then there are two 5 volt output pin which I am going to use to power my external DVR or digital video recorder which I am going to install along with this here on my drone frame and then you have a video input and a smart audio to control the channel which I am going to connect it onto my microcontroller. Since I am going to place my DVR onto the back side of this drone frame I have already installed this jumper connection which is going to be connected to this video transmitter onto the top to be able to supply 5 volt to my DVR which is going to be placed on the back and also providing an output video signal that is coming out of my DVR and putting it as an input video signal to my video transmitter. So there are three wires going on to the back and then there are three wires going on to the front, two for the power supply of this video transmitter and then one for smart audio which is going to be connected to my microcontroller. So this is a jumper connection guys which I am going to connect it here and then connect my antenna to place it onto the back. This is how I have planned to install this video transmitter onto my drone frame. So guys here on the screen you have the detailed wiring diagram on how to connect this video transmitter along with the external DVR and your microcontroller. So guys if you want to go in detail on what are the functions of the DVR and how to connect the external DVR in several different modes I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, let's get started and let's install this video transmitter right here on the top of this stack. So first thing guys you need to do is to connect this jumper connection which I have already installed 
ensure that it is in the right direction otherwise you will damage the inside smaller pins which will be then difficult to maintain guys but in case uh, you guys damage the pin as well there are solder pads here on the back which you can use to then solder individual pins and then connect it to your flight controller or your external DVR but here just be careful guys you install the jumper in the right direction so as to not damage this jumper port so this is how I have connected my jumper port connection so there are two bunches one is going to stay in the front which is going to be get connected to my flight controller and then there is one set of wires which are going to go onto the back which is going to get connected to my external DVR so let's place this here onto the stack and push it down here guys I have already put some spacers as you can see these are the silicon spacers that I have purchased uh, separately I will put the link of the spacers in my video description for you guys to check it out so let me install this video transmitter like this here on the top and push it down all the way like this so here you can see guys there is enough space due to this spacer right on the top uh, so as to be able to install this video transmitter then I'm going to use the plastic nuts to keep holding this video transmitter on its place so that it does not wobble during the flight of the drone so now let us install those plastic nuts here on the top four of them just like this since guys I'm going to install the antenna holder as well so I'm pushing it a little bit down so that I have little bit space onto the top to install the antenna holder as well so guys this is how it looks like whenever you install it right from the side as well as you can see so here guys you can see the button to change the band and channel of this video transmitter is also located on the side and easily accessible whenever you even cover the top side which is also something really nice on this side guys as you know you have the led indicators uh, for different bands channel and powers which is also visible from the side which is also something really nice so it was very logical to install it in this direction so, so as to have all those information available and visible right from the sides now let's connect the antenna wire here onto the top this pin is mmcx pin connection for the antenna wire guys so this is what it came along with this video transmitter for the antenna transmission so guys before you install the antenna onto your video transmitter ensure that you have a video transmitter uh, antenna holder like this already connected the video transmitter will go like this here inside uh, this hole guys and then connect so it comes with the nut and a washer to hold it at its place so let's install that quickly your antenna holder like this screw it down all to the way to outside so that it is accessible from outside so this antenna holder will hold both the antennas guys uh, one from your RF module transmitter and your video transmitter apart from that guys it will also hold the chip for your RF module which is going to be placed here in this uh, packet uh, or holder which is made here on this antenna holder so it is also something really nice guys and then using this washer and nut uh, let's secure the antenna onto this antenna holder like this now let us install this antenna onto this video transmitter and just push it hard and it will get connected like this whenever you hear the click and that is how you know your video antenna holder is properly connected but since the extension cable is a little smaller guys I will have to possibly reverse this video transmitter and install it from the back side let's do that quickly so guys you can see here i have already reversed my video transmitter onto the back side my antenna is here going on this antenna holder guys my power supply for this video transmitter is still onto the front side like this onto the back side guys here you can see this is the wire which is going to go and connect it to the dvr guys i'm going to install the dvr in my future videos guys so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel for my future videos so guys now let us connect the wiring of the VTX controller so the VTX controller output comes from these wires out of the drone guys as you can see it is coming out from this VTX so the green one is for 5 volt orange one is for ground and then you have the black one for your smart port and then the purple one coming from the back is for the video input which will ultimately 
outputs the video signal back to this video transmitter so i'm going to install all these wires right here on the microcontroller guys as you know ground 9 volt supply for my vtx and then my vtx output so this output is going to go in the input of my dvr and then you have tx1 port as a transmitter port for my smart audio so let's connect all those pin before we do that guys let's do the quick cleaning of all these ports so let's start with tx1 vtx 9 volt the last one is your ground so now that we have tinned all these four pins guys let's quickly connect them so green one to my 5 volt orange is to ground so let's connect the ground first so here is my ground and green one is for video 5 volt and then the black one is for smart port so it is going to go to TX1 and then you have a purple the blue one coming out from the is for, is for video so this is all connected guys so my video transmitter is now ready to be powered up using my flight controller guys so this is how you connect it so this is how guys you install the vtx wires onto this drone flight controller which is made access f765 as per the wiring diagram guys now whenever you boot up your flight controller you will be able to power this vtx whenever you connect it to the power supply using the battery guys and configure the vtx and everything so before you start configuring and powering it up guys one thing super important you need to connect the antenna before you can power this vtx otherwise it will immediately fry your video transmitter so this is something really important guys you should always keep in mind this antenna holder goes on to the top like this uh, these holes are going to match on to the holes which are there on the top of this spacer like this and this to be placed here and then you can place the antenna holder like this onto the top and then you're going to place the top mount like this to finish the frame but guys i'm not going to do that in this video guys this is just an overview and walkthrough on how to place my video controller or video transmitter as there are a lot of components and installations still pending in this drone guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos so this is it guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies